and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good people of the true purple today. Hope you're feeling grand and awesome in your world. Hello, everybody. Uh, today's vid, everybody, we are going to be building a pedal board. Well, pedal board, that's just going to be on the floor, but uh, we're going to be making a pedal board mainly out of Tone City pedals. After the video I did previously, where I did uh, 19 Tone City pedals in one video, and I kind of like picked out my favorite. I think, I can't remember how many it was, I think it was eight. But uh, out of out of kind of like all the pedals that I played that day, I, there was like certain ones that stuck out to me more. And I was like, I want to make a pedal board just out of these pedals. And like, you know, if I was to gig them, how, you know, how would it go? So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm very excited. So um, it'll be mainly Tone City pedals, but there will be two pedals which won't be Tone City, which is mainly, uh, well, which will be the Ditto Looper X2, which I'll run as the effects loop of the amp and the Vox Silvertop Wah. Uh, mainly because Tone City do not do a wah wah pedal um, yet. I'm looking at you, Tone City. Anyway, so uh, they're going to be the two pedals that aren't Tone City. The main kind of bulk of the sound, though, is going to be Tone City pedals. So, oh, and I've picked five, everybody. Uh, the reason I've picked five is mainly because my Daisy Chain power supply only has five outputs, but in all fairness, I don't really need any more than what I've got. You know, the, uh, the, the Looper, the um, the, wah, the Vox Wah Wah, which is up there, which is you can't see, but I keep pointing. Uh, and I'll, and the five Tone City pedals. That's really all I need for a gig, really. I'm, I'm, I'd be very happy to go to a gig with this lot. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to the pedals that I have chosen. So, pedal number one. And this isn't in chain order. That might change in a bit when we start plugging them in and experimenting. I know... In my mind, I've got an idea of the pedal chain, but it might change. Anyway, apart from obviously the ditto loop, which you go through the effects loop. Uh, so, pedal number one, the glorious, beautiful, heavenly angel wing chorus. This is literally... My friend. I love this pedal, and it's fantastic. And it's just, yeah, it's just fantastic. Mm -hmm. I just love that pedal. So that's the chorus I'm going to be using. I always, I always like to have a chorus because, you know, being a John Fashanti fan, I, I love chorus sounds. Um, and for like volume swells and also textural guitar, chorus works really lovely because it gives movement to stuff and I love that. So uh, got, got the Angel Wing Chorus, going to have the Tiny Spring for reverb, which is fantastic pedal as well. Uh, the Tape Machine Delay. Um, this is an analog delay pedal. Personally, I prefer digital delay because I like the kind of clearer repeats. The analog delay has obviously darker repeats to kind of simulate tape. But for textural stuff, and also these two together, which I've been playing around with, these two together, when you crank up the tiny spring all the way and have like this as like a kind of textural delay, but a bit over the top, you're, well, you're here. You're here in a bit because that will, that will, that will happen. Sounds fantastic. Okay, so moving on, uh, distortion-wise, had to be Mr. Golden Plexi, although Mr. Golden Plexi has a rival in the Black Tea, which, uh, which, funny enough, has actually knocked the Golden Plexi off the top high-gain Tone City pedals I've got. Out, out of all the uh, Tone City pedals that I've got here, thanks to Mr. Lee Anderson, and thanks, Lee, um, the Black Tea... Is definitely beat the Golden Plexi on like high gain. I've actually prefer running the Golden Plexi on low gain. So today, Mr. Black T is going to be full out lead tone, and the Golden Plexi is going to be basically a kind of more of a bluesy overdrive kind of tone, if that makes any sense. You know, so it's going to be a bit more kind of like bit more kind of pushed clean into kind of like the realms of kind of like Jimi Hendrix distortion but not overdrive if that makes any sense so um so they're the pedals I'm gonna use like i say ditto and effects loop uh vox wah wah for wah um the amp we're gonna use today is the marshall mg up there we're gonna be using od1 uh got the gain set at four uh bass middle treble contour are all set at zero and i have volume set at 10 uh no reverb on the amp as we're getting all that from a tiny spring although no, yeah, but I don't think I, I, I might, that might change. I might turn a bit of reverb on, on the amp, maybe, but you, if I do, you'll see me doing it anyway. If I go to the amp for any reason, it'll be to turn reverb on. But other than that, it'll mainly come from Mr. Mr. Tiny Springer. 
Um, like I say, the uh, data loop is going to the effects loop. Uh, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, is there anything else to talk about? No, I'm going to be using the Red Oz wall today as well. So, without further a doodles, uh, let's get wiring this up. I'm just going to do this on the uh, XY uh, camera mic for the time being. And then when I get the pedals in the order I want, I'll turn the camera, mics, uh, camera mic off. We'll go to the 57 and we'll just jam the night away. Weird. Anyway, so uh, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get playing with pedals. Hmm. Okie dokie, so um, let's start. So, Mr. Vox is going to be guitar, is going to come into Mr. Vox. So that's at the end, beginning, whichever way you want to see it. And like I say, that's going to be battery powered because I think the Vox Wawa sounds better battery powered than it does a 9 volt adapter. I think. There's just something about this pedal when you power it with a battery, it sounds better. So that's going to be battery powered. And also Wawa pedals like, I I've had this same battery on this Wawa pedal for, my god, um, about a year. No word of a lie. It, uh, when 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 Dukes Deluda last year went to Liverpool and Sheffield and did like a mini kind of two date gig thing, uh, that, that this battery was new then. Uh, but, uh, it, and it's still here. So, uh, anyway, um, so, so we need to think about this end. So from the amp, what's the first thing we're going to hit? Because I'm, I'm really, I'm really torn between it hitting first, the chorus or the reverb. I think we go reverb because we can always change it. So from the amp, we're going to hit the tiny spring. Uh, and then we're going to go into the angel wing. So, uh, Get that in there. And then we're going to go to the tape machine. This is kind of like the idea I've got in my brain. That was a that was a bit of a confuzzlement. I wasn't, I wasn't sure about that. And then... Um, yeah, then we're going to go to the black T. Uh, like this. Hopefully these patch bleeds work, by the way. <laughs> and then we're going to go to the golden plexi. And then we're going to go to the Vox Wawa. Okay, so that's it. So there we go. Um, that was easy. Well, he says easy. It might not. It might not work the way I require it to work at this point in time. But so let's plug the power in. Okay. So oh, that was clever. He missed one out. I was like, my God, I've only got four. But no, there's five because he can't. He's useless and he can't count. Anyway, so that's a mess. Let's uh, let's do that properly, Dave. My bravery. Oh, I don't know. Stop rushing. Slow it down. Okay, so there we go. There we go. So no, lovely, catastrophic pedals on the floor mess. God. Um, okay, so I've no idea how to set these things yet. And I don't know if that's even going to work, but we're going to find out. So, um, what I'm going to do? I'm going to move the camera over there because you might be able to hear the the cab a little bit better. It, 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 It'll probably peak the camera for now, but um, hopefully not too much. But hopefully, you know, it'll give you an idea of where we're going. And then when, when we go to the 57, you'll be able to hear it better. So I'm going to move the camera, get the, uh, get the guitar plugged in, and then we'll start playing around with settings. Like I said, so Golden Plex is going to be like a low gain, and the Black Tea is going to be a high gain. Tape machine delay is going to be, I don't know at this point in time. Angel Wing is going to be, you know, chorus. And the Tiny Spring is probably going to be set about 9, 12 o'clock. I don't know yet. We'll find out. I have ideas, but the, whether those ideas work, I don't know. So anyway, God, this is exciting. So uh, anyway, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let me move the camera over there and let's make some noise. Okay, so uh, guitar is plugged in. We have noise. <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to come across just on the uh, on the uh, room mic, but it should be okay for the time being. As you can hear, it's just totally dry. No reverb because, as I say, we're going to get the tiny spring to do that. So, well, let's start there. So, tiny spring, which would probably be on all the time. <coughs> I love that.
So yeah, that was easy. 10 o'clock. <clears throat> Jobs are good. In. So I'm going to leave that on now. Tiny spray I'm not going to turn off. So now this is where it might get a bit watchy. It might get a bit iffy from here on out. Things that might have to change around. So we're going to go to the angel wing now. And I'm going to set it. Uh, level it doesn't jump out the out of the room basically <laughs> the tone C pedal seems to be really good though with unity level being at 12 o'clock if you just set the level at 12 o'clock you, you normally pretty bob on <laughs> yeah 12 o'clock okay so that is such a glorious chorus sound I love it so much. Yeah, but I'm happy with that. I don't need to mess around that. Okay, tape machine. Okay, so... Time needs to come down a bit. Put a bit more repeat. It's already fantastic. It's already fantastic. Like I said, I would prefer digital delay because I like digital delay more. But there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm gonna leave out of that. So that's I'm gonna leave out as that. So uh, just let you know where we are. Tiny Spring is set at basically 10 o'clock. The Angel Wing is set with a level at 12 o'clock, rate at 12 o'clock, and a depth at 3 o'clock. And the tape machine is set with a level at 11 o'clock time at 11 o'clock and the repeat is at two o'clock um and that's it so moving on now to distortion land okay so they work really well in that order so i don't feel like i need to change them around because they just behaved really well i mean that, that, that sounded great <laughs> Bit more repeats actually. Can I? How, how many? Nah, I'm gonna put it back. Okay, so I've just yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna leave repeats where they are. It was a bit, it was getting a bit wishy washy. So moving on, uh, black tea. I'm just gonna crank the gain. Let's see where we go. Oh my god, I love that sound. <laughs> That's gonna peek the camera out, but my uh, and also that sound when I stop playing, that that that, that um, kind of reverberation of the tiny spring reminds me of Gary Moore. Whenever you would hear Gary Moore play uh, live, well later on, to, unfortunately towards the end of his life, he would always have a, like a spring reverb replica thing on, pedal on, and he would always splash around after he finished playing. So you'd hear him play like a a chord or an end of a song, and you hear this kind of kind of noise at the end. That kind of thing. And I like that because it reminds me of Gary. So that's always good. So I've got the volume at 12 o'clock. I'm pretty sure that's Unity. Yeah, pretty much. 
much. I mean, I want it to jump out a bit more as distortion. I don't want it to kind of like be too much of the same level as clean. I want it to kick up a little bit. So volume's at 12 o'clock. Uh, gain is all the way up. Tone, I'm not sure at this point in time. I'm going to turn the tone all the way down. <laughs> I'm gonna put tone at nine o'clock, I think. Yeah. Okay, so tone at nine o'clock. Done! Yay! Joy to the world. Now, golden plexi. Uh, volume. I'm gonna set the volume at 12 o'clock, tone all the way down. And the gain I'm gonna put to zero and just like bring it in. So I'll, I just want it to be kind of like. Just dirty that up a little bit more. Exactly like that. So I've got the gain set about, we're about, I'd say about seven o'clock, uh, give or take. It's it's just between seven and eight o'clock. It's basically just kind of on break, break, break out, break in, break out, break through. Uh, but it's not loads of distortion. It's just beefing that up a bit. I'm just going to turn the tiny spring down to nine o'clock. No, I like it better there. Turn it back. <laughs> Okay, so, um, but yeah, it's just, it's just there to add a bit of... Instead of... It's just a bit more fat. So, now I want to know how these two interact, because I do want to use both when I do leads. So... Not too noisy. And that mad noise is coming from the tiny spray. Okay, so... How do I wrap with the tape machine? Oh my god, it's kind of, it's just, it's just ace. Let's turn them all on. Okay, we're getting a bit mushy there, uh, which might be a problem, maybe, but I kind of like the chaos of it, but this is another reason why I don't like analog delay, is because uh, I like to run delays into the front end, and I find analog delays get a bit mushy, and they kind of squish things, that might come out of the circuit, maybe, or I might just not use it for... For kind of leads. Okay, I'm going to turn the tiny spring down to nine o'clock. with that uh, it sounds a bit like and there's a lot of mush going on let's I'm gonna try something weird and I don't know if this is gonna work but let's try it anyway forgive the amp noise uh, let's try this is gonna be weird but I, 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 I don't think for one second this is gonna work but I want to try it and I've got to try it because if I don't then I'll Never forgive myself. So I'm going to try putting the reverb down here, which is weird. And I've just got an impression this is going to make things really messy, but I want to know. And this is the fun of making pedal boards is just to see what happens. Okay, so this is... Wibbly wobbly thing. It actually, I actually prefer it there than I do there. 
but it's st on the low strings it's still kind of distorting itself out so what i'm gonna do is because i'm not a, a, the biggest fan of that but i like i like the sound of it but again it, uh, it's not very clean you know it, it's it's um it's warping the sound of these two on <laughs> You know, because there's a lot of low end there and there's a lot of gain, it's kind of, this is interfering with them. And the same thing with the tape machine as well, to be honest. It's kind of... Uh, maybe not so bad, actually. Maybe if I turn the level down on the tape machine. machine's okay. Like I said, I would prefer digital delay, but that's okay. So, what I'm going to do is uh, itch my ear, because it's very itchy all of a sudden. Anyway, now what I'm going to do there, um, I'm going to put the tiny spring back where it was. So, I'm going to put the tiny spring back at the beginning, really quickly. So, I'll put that here. Sorry about the noise, everybody. And I'm, what I'm going to use is I'm going to switch reverbs. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take the tiny spring out. As much as I love it, oh, sorry. As much as I love the tiny spring, it's I'm going to take it out the uh, out the chain and not use it. So I'm just going to go for these four. I'm going to use the reverb from the MG instead. So um, I'm going to set the MG's reverb to two which is nine o'clock. So the MG's reverb's now on nine o'clock. So that's no... Okay, so that's that now. So, how's the track? That's what I want reverb-wise. So I'm gonna use the amps reverb instead of a tiny spring. So Mr. Tiny Spring, I do apologize, but you are isolated from this. Uh, although I do kind of want to use it because I like its washed outness. Okay, right. It's going back in. <laughs> because, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank it. So, the tiny spring will be used, but it'll only be used for kind of like uh, texturally things, like when I go soundscaping. So, um, I'm just going to have it cranked up basically. And let's see how that goes. So. Actually, no. No, I'm not. I am going to take it out of the circuit. I've, ch I've changed my mind yet again. It's coming out of the circuit. Well, out of the, uh, out of the chain. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick with this. So there we go. So um, Angel Wing into the tape machine, Black T, and then the Golden Plexi. Just quickly, uh, I do apologise about this, but we'll get to the, uh, the good sound with the 57 in a minute. I want to try the tape machine on this side of the distortions, just because I'm a curious little rhino. Anybody get that reference? Anyway, um, so let's unplug this. I just want to know more than anything. Because you never know. Okay, so. This might be a bit weird, but I've, I just want to see what it's like. Uh, uh, well. Will that reach? No. Okie dokie. Let's unplug power again. Bear with me, people of the tube. I'm very I'm curious about this. I don't think this is going to work very well, but I really want to know. I like it, but it's a it, it's not it's not lending itself really to what I want to hear. It's it's still not quite there. And like I said, I, in all fairness, I prefer digital delay. 
to analog, like I've said already. You don't need to repeat that, David. You tended before. Anyway, so I'm going to put that back where it was. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get the tiny spring in, to be honest with you, but there's no point. There's no point me using a tiny spring if it's not going to work the way I want it to. And if the amp's reverb does what I want it to do, I might as well just use that. So there we go, people. Uh, there we go, everybody. That's what we're going to use. So Ditto is going into the effects loop. I'll use that to kind of like just make things. Got the Vox Wah Wah. Uh, so from the amp, Angel Wing, Tape Machine, Black T, Golden Plexi, Vox Wah into Mr. Red Oswald. That's what we've got. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to move a battery as well around there. So, uh, yeah, let's let, let me let me um, let's plug into the let's plug the 57 into the mic into the camera, and uh, and let's go from there and let's see what we can make out of all this. Like, this is going to be fun. Okay, so let's do that.
people with a tube uh, there you go um I am uh, yeah I, I'm gone so uh, bear with me while I try and talk uh, just, uh, just 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 thank you um, if I had to go to a gig with these tomorrow sadly won't happen because of everything that's going on but if I had to go to a gig with these I would not be sad there are a couple of personal preferences, like, you know, digital reverb, uh, digital reverb and digital delay, sorry. Uh, but I'm not going to complain. I love the tiny spring so much. It's, when I put it back in, I was just like, yeah, it should be there. It needs to be there. Even if I don't use it all the time, 
I like it. And at the end of it, I turned the reverb off on the app and just, you just heard the tiny spring. But that's amazing. It's got that kind of slapbacky kind of thing, which is super, super cool. Uh, the Golden Plexi and the Black Tea sounded heavenly together. Um, Vox Wire was a wah. This is my favorite wah wah. Uh, the Tape Machine was wicked. I, like I, said, I do prefer Digital Delay. But this was really cool. I liked it kind of like just in the background. I didn't like it when it was super dominating. It, it, it kind of flubbed out and I didn't like it so much. Angel Wing, just the most gorgeous, one of the most gorgeous chorus sounds I've ever heard in my life. I, I, I found as well, in that playing around, if everything's set at 12 o'clock, that's where I prefer it. Just messing around just then. Because I had the rate, I think I had the, no, was it the depth? I had the depth up, I think. I don't remember anymore. But uh, set, I set everything to 12 o'clock and it just was like, that's where it needs to be. The reverb ended up about 11 o'clock and I really liked it at 11 o'clock. Uh, the tape machine I was just playing with. You know, there, were, there was definitely no hard and fast rules with the tape machine. It was just whatever I felt like. I was messing around with it quite a lot. Um, the golden plexi on that setting was just fantastic. The, the black tea with the setting I had at the beginning was fantastic. At the end of it, when I switched the black tea onto this side of Wawa... Uh, I just cranked the entire pedal to 10. So volume, tone, and gain were just on 10. But um, it didn't quite do what I wanted it to do there. It's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be here. In all fairness, what I would do, I would I would need a, like a fuzz or something on this side. I don't know. But either way, I'm happy with this. Uh, people of the tube, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. I really would love to know what you thought. I really liked how messy the front end got sometimes. I, I like that. I don't like when things are like too clean, but I don't like it when they get a bit flubby. But like there were certain points where I was just like, oh my God, that's so wicked. It was so inspiring as well. I mean, I could have kept going and going and going, but um, my brain kicked in over the top of me just during that last bit and said like, you know, beware of time. You're going to run out of time. So I had to stop and, you know, I wouldn't have done otherwise. Anyway, um... For people of the tube, let me know what you thought to this in the comment section below. Hugely inspiring. I love these Tone City pedals. They're absolutely amazing. They are absolutely amazing. It's just, oh, just, I'll just give me a digital delay. I'd be very happy. Um, yeah, just, as a pedal board, if I had to go to a with that, I would not be. I would not feel bad about that at all. I'd be very happy. I'd be very happy doing a gig with just what, what you see here. I wouldn't need anything else, to be honest with you. I really wouldn't, you know. Um, just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Unreal. I ain't got anything else to say, people of the tube. So I hope you enjoyed this vid. I hope it's been somewhat okay. I hope the playing's been somewhat okay. And, um... Yeah, uh, I'll see you again for another one soon. I'm just lo I've just i lost my mind in the best way possible, and I needed that today because I'm feeling a bit... I'm feeling like crap, to be honest with you. If I'm being honest, I'm feeling really down today, which isn't fun in any way, shape, or form. But uh, this has made me feel a little bit better. It's made, uh, I was able to kind of vent some stuff, which is always good. Anyway, uh, yeah, just... I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I hope I hope the sound came across okay. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again soon, everybody. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, uh, goodbye, and thank you very much. Cheers.